Hello, my friends. Bug Inspired Cabinet Upcycle by DIYs by Dar. This is an open collaboration for a bug inspired piece by the Crafty Creech DIYs and Furniture Flips. Here is the piece that I'm going to do um, a solid wood piece, but the drawer and the inside of the cabinet, back and bottom, were rather cheaply made, but it is a old piece and smells pretty old so the corners missing it's in pretty bad shape uh, a lot of scratches and gouges in the top um, I'm gonna clean it up and we're gonna get going on this piece and I am gonna take this outside because it's so full of cobwebs and bugs I brushed it off but I'm gonna take the hose to it I've got my crud cutter and it's a nice day outside, nice and warm, so after I wash it, I will let it sit in the sun and dry. I'm gonna wet it down and I'm gonna get scrubbing. Pay no attention to my funky gear with my socks. I have to dress that way out here, uh, especially when I take my dog for a walk because of the ticks. They are pretty bad. I did have to rebuild that corner and I used the Gorilla um, compound <clears throat> which is stainable because I wanted to take the top and the door louvers back down to natural wood and I thought that I would take and stain them a light gray. So sometimes I do pieces out of order and I just felt like sanding and it depends on how much time I have during the day. So, got out the orbital, 100 grit paper, and let's take the top down. All right, let's take the doors off. I'm gonna take all that hardware and put it in a bag for myself so I can wash it later, and then I plan on painting it with some metallic gray spray paint. Time for the surf prep. I've got 100 grit sandpaper on here and I'm going to go around and I mainly just needed to scuff sand it but I also was trying to take out any of the surface scratches and gouges that I could so I wouldn't have to fill quite as much. Inside and out, I'm going to paint the whole thing. Next, I thought it'd be better just to take some stripper and take the layer off these doors because I knew they were going to be fun to sand back down to natural wood. So I went ahead and put it on and covered them with a, paper, um, a uh, bag for 20 minutes. And when I came back, it was really sticky, almost like gum. I had to wipe off my tool on a rag just to get the goo off. Mineral spirits. <clears throat> then I needed to let them dry and let's get the orbital out again. I believe I had 80 grit on here because I want this surface off. Back to the surf prep. I went ahead and put the half inch cushion pad on and then offset my 100 grit sandpaper so I can get in that little groove. offset that sandpaper again and it worked really great. I sanded off as much as I could get off with that surf prep and then I had to do a little hand sanding. Mm -hmm. 
I really needed to fill a lot of scratches and gouges all over this whole piece. After it was sanded back down, I did cover that top because I wanted to protect that wood. And I got my bullseye one, two, three primer out. Make sure you wear a mask. This stuff is nasty. I decided to use a spray can because this was a smaller piece. Sometimes the problem with spraying though, um, it can depend on your weather conditions. It was about 90 degrees, but there was a little bit of humidity and the spray can actually start to dry on its way to your piece and then you get like a fine powder because the atmosphere has kind of sucked all the water out of your spray and the spray can, sometimes the nozzles are different and you can get um, some real bloppy spray. All right, I'm gonna use Rust-Oleum's Aged Gray for painting and I really did like this Rust-Oleum paint. It went on really nice. I used a small foam roller and whatever I could roll, I did and it went on very nice. I went ahead and I did put two coats of the Rust-Oleum chalked paint in the aged gray color inside and out and I wanted to put a little extra protection with some gray boss on that back side because I was going to put this in my greenhouse then my husband liked it too well and wanted to bring it in the house possibly in my pool room so I went ahead and gave it that extra protection and I also had that big grease spot on the back that I wanted to kind of get rid of. Just one heavy nice coat. Oops, spoiler alert. Now you know where the rest of the wallpaper went after my wine bar redo. Oh, this was my friend on my head. I had to do a little bug dance. Really freaked me out. Time to spray the hardware. Metallic gray, even the tops of the screws. I used polycrylic spray and a matte finish and I went ahead and the whole surface got three coats of spray. Once again, a really warm day here in Michigan, about 90 degrees out, but it was slightly humid, so it was not drying too fast when I was putting it on. My husband decided he liked the natural color 
So I went ahead and I left it like that and instead of staining it, I just went ahead and sprayed them Dora Louvers. Here's my decals. I have lots of them. Now that one on the far right that has the really cool bugs was a water decal. And this is my first experience with decals and I'm not uh, really sure I like those. But here's the regular ones and I think this was from um, Design by Prima or another company where you just pull that paper back off and then it's just slightly sticky on the back side and then you set your decal where you want it to go and then it's going to be a matter of um, taking your burnishing stick and transferring that onto your piece and with these bugs um, their little appendages were a bit difficult so you have to really burnish those down and go slowly when you're taking that covering off. If you see a piece of it lift up, just set it back down and burnish it some more. Because if you lose a piece, your whole decal is ruined and they are very difficult to get off. And you, you have to sand the piece basically off to uh, remove it. So go slowly. You see a piece lift, burnish it back down. And there you have it. I just like to take and smooth it all down. That gives the best effect so then you can't see any of that around your item that you're trying to transfer. Here's the water decal. You have to take and put it in water for five to ten seconds and it will curl up on you but just leave it it'll straighten out you need to put just a little bit of water on where you're going to place the item because it will uh, slide around just a little bit until you get it in place and you have to kind of slide it off the paper and onto your surface so you need to get it where you want it and decide which direction you're going to slide it off from and then carefully put it on the surface without bubbles getting underneath it and straighten it out and once you get it straight you need to take and, and what I used was just a chamois cloth to dry up the excess water and then straighten out the item very gently I don't care for these decals as much because they leave too much of a uh, ring around them and they were high gloss and even after I sprayed them you could still see that high gloss so although I like the bugs I don't know if I get it again here's the piece I started with this is what I ended up with
like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This was fun. Collab from the Crafty Creech DIYs and Furniture Flips.